Hey guys, Pastor Tanner here with our first Logos Bible Software specific buying guide. In this video, I hope to show you what you're going to gain from each of the feature sets that you can purchase with Logos 9. We're going to talk about the starter feature set all the way up through the full feature set, and I'm going to explain the differences so you understand what you're getting in each tier. Okay? Now, if you haven't seen our first video, our first intro video talks about what you're trying to buy in Logos Bible Software, please go ahead and hit this link and watch that intro video first. That's going to tell you what your specific buying strategy should be and if you should be focusing on feature sets or a full library, a base package. If you've already watched that video and you know that you want a feature set, then you're in the right place. Remember that feature sets are intended to give you the most basic resources so that you can utilize Logos as a Bible research tool, simply digging into the text itself and especially getting access to the original languages. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into our buying guide for all of the feature sets. Now, the first feature set you have available to you is obviously the starter feature set. It is the most accessible, it is the cheapest, and it does give you kind of the bare minimum requirements of what you're looking for. Now, what I would classify the starter feature set as, if I could term it in simple terms, is this is your basic access to the original languages plus all of your basic features of Logos 9 unlocked. You get the Lexham Bible Dictionary, which gives you a good dictionary to dig into that has good articles and access to it. You get Morris Proctor's Quick Start Guide, which has some step-by-step -step instructions on basics of how to use Logos Bible software. You also get some basic Logos 8 videos that are still very much applicable and relevant even in Logos 9. If your tradition uses lectionaries, you're going to get several lectionaries available in this. And also, the system itself is going to have plenty of media available to you, different images and maps that are going to come alongside the program. Because as you use these search functions and tools, as you're digging into the text itself, you might want to access a picture or image of what you are reading about. There are also several Bible harmonies and parallels available in this starter package. But the key of what you're getting here are the reverse interlinears that are available, okay? A reverse interlinear is the Bible text itself spelled out in the English translation of your choice with the underlying Greek or Hebrew word underneath it. It can be very, very helpful to have a reverse interlinear. And this is how you are getting your basic and most fundamental access to the original languages. It is as though you can read the Bible in the language of your choice and you can look down below it and see, oh, this is what the Greek says. This is the word that the Hebrew uses. Even if you don't know anything about Greek or Hebrew, you can dig into that original language. The days of using a concordance and Strong's numbers are behind us, and you can dig right into the words themselves based upon the program. There are reverse interlinears available for many major Bible translations. King James, Christian Standard Bible, ESV, HCSB, the Holman Christian Standard, the Lexham English Bible, the NASB, the NIV, the New King James, the NLT, the New Living Translation, and the NRSV. All of these interlinears are available in this starter set. Now, I do want you to know it doesn't necessarily come with all of those versions of the Bible. A feature set is just meant to unlock those features. So you may need to have to purchase the version itself from a separate source. You may have to go buy the ESV or the NIV or the CSB separately. But once you do, you're going to have the interlinear unlocked if you get this starter feature set. And that's going to allow you good access to the original languages. There are also several other things, different interactives. There's the Proverbs Explorer, the Bible Outline Browser, which allows you to just kind of dig through the Bible in kind of a topical format. You have Greek and Hebrew alphabet tutors that can help you to understand the letters that are available there in Greek and Hebrew and the numeric converter. But these are just kind of your basic fundamental features that are available. The real key that you're getting in the starter set is that access to the original languages through the reverse interlinears. Okay. You're also going to get basic workflows. These are available and the workflows are great for doing Bible studies. You have a basic Bible study workflow. You have an inductive Bible study workflow, you have a devotional workflow, and a topical study workflow. Workflows are like a step-by-step -step guide, somebody holding your hand as you walk through studying the Bible. If you've always wanted to study the Bible and didn't know how, these workflows are going to help you with that. 
There are also author guides, and the author guides available in the starter package include B.B. Warfield, Irenaeus, John Newton, Jonathan Edwards, and Martin Luther. These author guides are actually really, really handy if you ever wanted to know a little bit more about each of these authors. So you can check out those author guides and learn a little bit more about Warfield or Irenaeus or Newton. But again, the key that you're getting out of these starter packages is that access to the original languages through the reverse interlinears. Basic features unlocked and reverse interlinears. That's the key. Now, stepping up from starter to bronze, what are you getting? If I could describe this upgrade in one sentence, I would say that in bronze, you are getting more of what you love, greater access to the Psalms, and a lot of quotations. These quotations can be very, very handy if you're writing lessons or sermons because oftentimes you'll get a good quote from an early church father or a well-known biblical figure, and these quotes are going to help you to make your point very clear to your audience. So you're getting more of what you love, it adds a little bit of everything, and you're getting greater access to the Psalms, and you're getting these quotes. All right? So the more of what you love, a few more le lectionaries, a few more interlinears, a little bit more maps, a little bit more images, a little bit more media, more workflows. All of those things are buffed up. The media media archives are buffed up, okay? You're also getting a few more features, different access to the original lemmas themselves when it comes to examining the original languages. You're getting the New Testament use of the Old Testament, the manuscript explorers, which are very, very neat if you don't know much about the original manuscripts. But one of the keys that you're getting here is the Psalms Explorer. The Psalms Explorer itself is a very, very cool feature. If you actually open it up, it shows all 150 Psalms categorized by what type of Psalm they are, and you can drill down into them and examine them in the original languages. The Psalms Explorer is very, very nice, and it's a good upgrade from Starter to Bronze to get the Psalms Explorer if you really like digging into the Psalms. Okay, that's going to help you a ton. The other thing that you're getting from this upgrade is you're adding a few more authors to your author guides. You're getting Athanasius, you're getting Spurgeon and John Gill in addition to those previous ones. But the real key, again, that I want you to see, guys, is you are getting the quotation books. There are eight resources available now, 300 quotations from XYZ, and these books have tons and tons of good quotes in them. Those good tweetable quotes, those quotes that are really inspiring and encouraging and really elevate your message or your study to the next level. So those quotes, if you really like them, you're going to get a lot available to you here in that bronze upgrade. Okay, now moving on to silver. What are you getting in silver over and above bronze? Well, here you're getting, if I could say it in one sentence, you're getting improved original language access, you're getting your first taste of commentaries, and you are also getting the sermon builder and preaching mode, which are very, very helpful for preachers and teachers. Finally, you're getting the counseling guide. So if you do any counseling whatsoever, the counseling guide is absolutely fantastic. Okay, the commentaries that you're getting here are the Lexham Context Commentaries, which are excellent commentaries, and they go into a lot of that context, the original context of the passage you're looking at to help you understand a little bit more what was going on. So your first taste of commentaries here in the silver feature set. The other thing that you're getting is the improved original language access. As you dig into the original languages, the Hebrew and the Greek, that's going to help you with understanding a little bit more closely what the original authors intended to communicate. And the Sermon Builder plus the Preaching Mode. The Sermon Builder is great, and you can turn on that Preaching Mode, and you can also plan your sermons for the year. So all of those are available here in Silver. And again, that Counseling Guide. The Counseling Guide is fantastic, and that is going to help you a lot if you do any sort of counseling. You can just type your Counseling Guide topic right in there, alcoholism, for example, and it's going to lead you to some good topics and articles that you have for counseling. Finally, you have a little bit more access to systematic theology type resources. You have the Lexham Survey of Theology, which can be very, very helpful. And finally, you have the Theology Guide. Both of these are going to be very, very nice resources. I use the Lexham Survey of Theology fairly regularly, and I even accessed it this week. It's very helpful for understanding those basic systematic theology doctrines. Also, the improved original language access is from the Cascadia Graphs, okay? The Cascadia Graphs list out all of the words vertically 
in the original languages and then shows you how those words are translated. And so those Cascadia graphs are going to help you a ton with your access to the Greek. Okay. And that's the silver upgrade. Finally, let's talk about the full feature set. The full feature set essentially in one word gives you full access to the original languages. What silver was for the Greek in the New Testament, full is for the Hebrew and the Old Testament. If you get the full feature set, you get the Hebrew Anderson Forbes equivalents of the Cascadia graphs in Greek. So now you can access all of the Hebrew Old Testament with that same breakout of the differing words listed vertically and how they are translated. So that helps you very much. In addition, if you're interested in the NET or the ESV Catholic edition, this is where you get those reverse interlinears. This is where they're finally available here in the full feature set. You also get access to the semantic and case data sets, which are very, very helpful. So just to summarize, guys, if all you want is some basic access to the original language and some basic features, go for starter feature set. You can't go wrong there. The interlinears are awesome and so helpful for reading the Bible. If you want a little more than that and you want a little more access to the Psalms and some really good quotations, then you're going to want to go for bronze. The Psalms Explorer and the 300 Quotes series are both fantastic in their categories. If you want to dig into the original languages a little bit more with those Cascadia graphs and you're interested in some basic commentaries and either counseling or preaching, then you want to go for silver. That's going to give you your basic access of what you need here. Finally, if you want to dig into the Hebrew in depth and you want either the NET or the ESV CE, then you're going to want to go for the full feature set. This is it for all of the feature sets that are available. Again, remember the focus on feature sets is not libraries. It's not books. Instead, the focus in a feature set is on getting the basic tool set that you need in order to proceed forward. If you are upgrading and you're not interested in adding any books to your library, then you could also go for a feature set and that's going to help you get access to Logos 9's newest features without costing nearly as much because you're not adding any additional books. However, if you are interested in books, in base packages, in libraries, that's what we're going to next. We're going to put together an entire series from starter all the way through collectors of those base packages. And I'm going to highlight my favorite resources in each of the base packages and in each of the traditions. So click one of these links if you want to check out some of our base packages. I hope you have a great day. I hope this was helpful to you in making your purchase in Logos 9. Take care. God bless. Bye.